Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and today we are going to test the power of green gas with plastic BBs versus CO2 with plastic BBs and also versus CO2 with steel BBs. But the main event is of course these two against each other because I had a feeling that my Colt SAA could be more powerful than my Don Weston. So let's find that out. It's very interesting to test because both are revolvers, both are six shooters, both are CO2, both are steel BB. The only difference is with this one the steel BB goes in the front and with this one the steel BB goes in the back. And the Don Weston is dual action and the Colt is single action. If you don't know what that means, don't worry, it's empty. Dual action means you can shoot it like this, but it doesn't do that because it's single action. You have to cock it first. And with dual action, you can use the cock, but you can also do dual action. That's this. All right, the first test will be some simple cardboard. We have 10 pieces right there. And I'm going to use 0 0.30 grain of plastic BBs for CO2 and green gas, because the steel BBs are also 0 0.30. All right, first up, my Desert Eagle with green gas and plastic BBs. I'm going to shoot from 2 meters away. It's 26 degrees Celsius, so green gas should perform excellent. All right, let us see. One, two, three. And it got stuck in the fort. All right, next up, also with plastic BBs, but with CO2, with my Colt 1911. One. Two, three, oh, only three, and it did not enter the fourth one. Strange. So, when it's hot, green gas performs better. Next up, steel BBs with CO2, also with my Colt 1911. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, so nine. So on cardboard number 9 we got a entry but not an exit. Oh 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 it actually got stuck in number 8. Alright guys it's time for your favorite revolver the Don Wesson the 8 inch version so i'm only going to need one bullet all right so
so I added two more cardboards because this revolver is very powerful because it doesn't have a slide to move backwards so you don't have a loss in power one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oh my god and after twelve cardboards it even made a dent in the wood still <laughs> my god Here is the dent. Alright, time for my new revolver. The Colt SAA. One shot, one bullet. One, two, three, four, five. Also 12 cardboards, but no dent. Now I'm starting to wonder if these dents already were here from the Don Wesson. I'm going to do another shot with the Don Wesson, just to make sure, in the middle. I'm going to aim right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh yeah, it made a dent. Okay, so it's more powerful than my Colt SAA. And it's also more accurate. All right, next up, a can. First with the Desert Eagle. Okay, so that went completely through. And yes, the cold can also shoot through a can. and exit and it's my weakest gun so I'm going to use something stronger a tin can which is a lot stronger this is not a dent it's just some glue and sticker it's new First up, Desert Eagle. So, a big dent. Next up, the Colt 1911 with plastic BB. A smaller dent. And now the Colt 1911, but with steel BBs.
Oh yes, it went through, but it stopped there. There's a small dent on the other side. <laughs> Next up, the cold SAA. So it went through and it also went through the other side. There's a very, very, very small hole. I don't know if you can see it. All right, next up, the Don Wesson. So it went through here, but it did not go through the other side. That's weird. Because the cold SAA did. Alright, let's try that again with a new can. First the cold. it entered and it also exited all right and now the Don Wesson so it entered and it also exit it so as you can see with a can um, you get different results because maybe you hit it on a weak spot and with the other gun you hit it on a strong spot because we have ribbons here we also have a seam and then the angle can also play a part in that you don't have that with cardboards so the Don Weston is still the winner okay so in one of my other videos when I've tested this cold SAA I shot some plates that I stole from my mother but I actually found out that these plates are pretty weak and I could break them with my Desert Eagle now since my cold with plastic BBs and CO2 is performing less in this weather than my Desert Eagle, I'm going to try and break it with this one. Whoops. Okay, so uh, it seems like the cold cannot break this. God damn it. Stay up. Alright, so that was a full magazine and it did not break, so damn, that's a real loss for CO2 right there, with plastic BBs of course. Okay, so it's weakened now, but I know that the Desert Eagle can break this plate. Okay, so that was one shot with Desert Eagle. 
All right, I got some different plates right now. These should be stronger. Let's see if the Desert Eagle can break them. All right, that were about 10 shots and it did not break. So these plates are stronger. And we now know that green gas, when it's hot outside, it does outperform CO2. If we shoot with plastic BBs. All right, next up, this Colt 1911 with steel BBs and CO2. <laughs> Two shots. Now that's funny. <laughs> it's smiling. <clears throat> All right, let's try a new plate with the Colt 1911. Next up, the Colt. And now, da -da -da -da, the Don Weston. Damn. <laughs> Okay, I know that steel BBs can break a glass jar, but can airsoft with plastic BBs? Let's find out. Holy shit, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Alright, let's try the Desert Eagle. Okay, that's very weird because green gas was outperforming CO2 and now it didn't. And yes, there's a fresh load of green gas in the magazine. Alright, to see if it wasn't a fluke, I'm going to shoot it again with the Colt 1911. What the hell? I really think this glass is bulletproof. So the other glass that broke with this one, it was a fluke. But one way or another, this glass is going to die. This is the Colt 1911 with steel BBs. Take that! You see, that's why I always do multiple tests on screen and also off screen. And 
That is why I was very surprised that the glass broke um, with the plastic BBs because I never had that off screen. So it was a fluke. Plastic BBs cannot break that. All right, one more test with the revolvers. I've got this plate. It's very strong, very thick, 10 millimeters thick in the middle. It's from the 60s. They don't make this anymore. I stole this from my dad. He's going to be furious when he sees this. First up the cold. So two shots were at the exact same spot. Whoa! <laughs> hey, that's weird. They did not enter, but <laughs> it exploded on the backside. That's some strong plate. They don't make that anymore. All right, I've got a new plate. Let's try the Don Wesson. Okay, this one broke. Damn, Don Wesson. But I have to say, there were three shots about in the same spot. Okay, I've got one last plate to give the Colt another chance and I'm also going to aim three times in the same spot to see if it breaks. Even though the Don Wesson won all of the tests, this is the last one. Damn, my aim is good. Three times in the same spot. Maybe four times. So it's clear. The Don Wesson is very, very strong. <laughs>